Here's an example of how transactions work in Bitcoin. Let's say Gloria has two UTXOs from past transactions, one worth 100 Bitcoins and one worth 50 Bitcoins. She, being incredibly wealthy and generous, wants to send 101 Bitcoins to me, Rusty. To start off, she first breaks open the 100 UTXO and makes that as an input to the transaction to me. However, she recognizes that she doesn't yet have enough in the input, so she breaks open her next UTXO, worth 50, and makes that a second input for the transaction. The transaction now has two inputs, one worth 100 and one worth 50, and one output worth 101 to me. But what about the remaining 49 Bitcoins that were originally Gloria's? Where do these go? To make sure that Gloria can spend these Bitcoins at a later date, she makes a second output to herself known as a change UTXO, or another piggy bank containing all the remaining unspent Bitcoins from the inputs. This way, this way, she can give 101 of her 150 total Bitcoins to me and keep her remaining 49, even though she doesn't have UTXOs which sum up to exactly the amount she wants to spend. From here, if I'm equally generous and want to give that remaining amount to Derek, I can just make my new UTXO an input to a different transaction, the output of which will be Derek's new UTXO. This is how Bitcoin effectively keeps track of individual transactions and prevents anyone from spending incorrect amounts of Bitcoin.